Today we are checking out my control settings here in Modern Warfare 3. This is literally the best settings you can run on your controller. I'm going to be showing you guys my personal settings that make me the player that I am when it comes to Call of Duty. And overall, it's giving you guys the best settings to help you guys aim and just never miss a bullet when you are playing the game. If you guys do enjoy, don't forget to drop a like and subscribe and let's hop right into this controller setting. So obviously the input is going to be on controller clearly. The edit button layout, we have it on tactical flip. It's basically where you shoot with R1 and L1 and you slide with R3. So you wanna make sure you have that on. That's just how I personally feel more comfortable playing the game. Bumper pin is going to be off. I think that came default to the game. I have on the <coughs> flip, which is obviously, like I said, it's a tactical flip. You shoot with R1 and L1. That's personally, I think that's a lot better than R2 just because it's more instant. Thick layout is going to be on default as well. Controller vibration, I had that off because it, vibration is just weird nowadays and it's just not comfortable in my personal opinion so i turned that off for my dead zone it's literally based on what the stick drift you have on your controller in addition now you can test your stick drift and as you can see i literally have a lot i didn't realize that but i have a lot so you can raise this up and down but i have it on five with the left stick and the right stick is going to be five as well i like have a lot of these default because that's just how the game came so that's just all maxed out and these two down here are also default as well for the aiming tab <clears throat> for the aiming tab now my sensitivity is going to be seven seven for each and for the advanced horizontal stick you can change that to one it's probably default to um 120 so put it to custom change it to what you want it to change it to and then put it back to your regular settings and it will lock it right there so the seven seven to sensitivity and the uh horizontal tool for, and vertical stick the sensitivity as well is on a one for the ads multiplier as well that's going to be on default to one anything with the sensitivity multiplier all these going to be default i didn't change any of these settings at all these are all going to be standard to how the game came but i did change my aim response curve type to dynamic it's the strongest aim assist in the game tour you could literally never miss a bullet so if you aren't using dynamic turn it on i guarantee you aim will be a lot better and aim assist is a lot stronger and a lot of these settings right right here are going to be default as well i didn't change uh, one of these at all obviously aim assist is going to be on aim assist or oh, aim assist a type i haven't set the default i didn't mess with any of these this year nor did i mess with them last year but it be default i didn't want to mess with that so a lot of these right here are just going to be default as well same thing with the third person and the modern sensing sensor aiming i didn't touch that because obviously i really don't even know what that is so now for the gameplay tab you have automatic tech sprint i figured that's just better for one for my thumb and two better for my controller so my control doesn't break faster it can last a lot longer slime into sprint that's all nothing that actually is a new setting or might be old honestly i don't know i have it on <clears throat> auto move forward that's off a lot of these stuff right here i didn't change one thing i did change with this tab which would be the slide slash die behavior i put it to slide only because i don't use dolphin dive i don't care for dolphin dive and once you put it on a slide only slide canceling comes a lot more smoother that's just how i personally like it when it comes to the sliding animation and a lot of these settings right here are going to be default as well so i'm going to just scroll past so you guys can see them everything is the same obviously when it comes to the interact tab and stuff like that you either have it on multiplayer will be tap the reload warzone will be prioritized interaction and yeah that's pretty much it. a lot of these settings right here default you can touch any of these at all but i want you guys to comment down below what's your sensitivity here in modern warfare 3 i got you guys with a insane gameplay as well just proving why these settings are Good. Don't forget to drop a like and subscribe and enjoy this gameplay. Alpha. Hostile mosquito is online. We're taking Bravo. All objectives are held by the enemy. Charlie secure. We're losing Charlie. Securing objective Bravo. Hostile UAV in the area. We've lost all objectives. Do not let it be for long. We control Bravo. Enemy securing Bravo. 
All objectives are held by the enemy. Prove yourself. Securing objective Alpha. Enemy UAV active. Securing objective Charlie. Objective Charlie secure. Bravo Kilo standing by. Enemy securing Charlie. This on station moving to engage. We're taking Bravo. Securing objective Bravo. On fast spotted.
Enemies taking Bravo. Friendly UAV on station. Enemies securing Bravo. They're taking Alpha. We hold all objectives. Well done. We're losing Alpha. Friendly cruise missile approaching target. The enemy took Charlie. Hey, Jay. You want to take? Enemy will... taking Bravo. Oh, that's a, um, why are you? Enemy taking Alpha. Enemy securing Bravo. Securing objective Charlie. Friendly cruise missile deployed. We control two objectives. We're taking Charlie. Friendly UAV online. Call it. Uh, pretty cool. 